Unit 6 문법 지도 1. 문법 수업 Let's have a look at this word. What's the preposition that goes with the verb depend? By? No, think harder. I have no idea. It's on. Like in, it depends on you. 문법의 필요성 Why do we have to learn grammar? What is grammar? Think of it as a rule you have to follow when you use a language. There are some rules for making sentences. When you make a sentence, you have to use the words in the right order. If you break grammar rules, people may not understand you. The aim of our course is not to master the grammar. We don't even know Korean grammar perfectly. However, we do have to know all the basics of grammar. Grammar is necessary for smooth communication. I'll explain grammar whenever we need to know it. I hope you would listen more carefully when I explain grammar. Learning grammar is essential for those who learn English as a second language. 문법 학습 can you find a grammatical error? This sentence is grammatically correct. This sentence has a grammatical error. Read the sentence and correct the grammar where necessary. There is an exception to this rule. Fill in the right adverb. Choose the right preposition. Which pronoun can go in this blank? What's the preposition that goes with this verb? You can't put a preposition in front of this word. Write the superlative form of fast. Use the comparison form to compare the two. You need a hyphen here. You need a comma here. Don't forget to add a period. Use an exclamation mark at the end of a wish. Choose the right sentence. Choose the wrong sentence. Fill in the blank with the right form of the given word. 2. 관사 Which article do you think will go in here? A. Sorry, you're wrong. Here, you have to use the instead of a. Why is it? Oh, because we already know about it. Precisely. Because this pencil has been already introduced in the previous sentence. 관사의 종류 및 용법 These are called articles. There are two types of articles. One is the indefinite article, and the other is the definite article. The is the definite article. A and an are indefinite articles. In this case, we use a or an. When we mention something for the first time, we use a or an. How can you tell when to use a and when to use an? Use an in front of a vowel. Let's find out when to use the. We use the when we already know about it. This word has been introduced already, so you should use the. 관사의 쓰임에 대한 연습 Fill in the right article. Check if the articles are used correctly. What's the right article for this word? Which article do you think will go in here? Choose either a or the for the blanks. Here you have to use the instead of a. Who knows why we have to put the here? Some words don't need any articles. In these cases, you don't need the articles. You can't use a or n in front of uncountable nouns. Let's have a look at the examples and compare the usage of a, n, and the. 3. 단수 및 복수 명사 Please change these words into plural forms. Who would like to do the first one? Me. B A B Y S. Nice try, but it's a bit strange. What did I tell you to do when a word ends with a consonant and a Y? Oh, 
I forgot. Change the Y into an I and add ES. Good boy. 복수형 만드는 규칙. Let's learn how to make plural forms. If there's only one, it's singular. If there's more than one, it's plural. There are some rules for making plural nouns. Normally, we add an S to the noun to make a plural. When the word ends with an S, you have to add ES. If a noun ends with X, S, SH, CH, Z, add ES. If a word ends with a consonant and a Y, change the Y to an I and add ES. If a word ends with an F, drop the F and add VES. There are some irregular nouns as well. You have to memorize the irregular plural nouns. 복수형 만드는 연습 Let's practice making plural nouns. Write the plural form of cat. Make this word into a plural. Change these words into plural forms. How do you make this word into a plural? The plural form of leaf is leaves. The plural of bus is not bus. Look, there are many of them. So, what do you have to add? Sa. 의문문 만들기. Would you like to come out and make this sentence into a question? I'm not sure, but I'll try. Is this correct? Well done, but there's a tiny mistake. You forgot to put a question mark at the end. 의문문 만드는 방법 What do these sentences have in common? They are all asking something. These are interrogative sentences. We'll learn to make questions. Generally, there are two types of questions. Questions you can answer with yes or no are called yes-no questions. You cannot answer with yes or no to a WH question. How can you make this sentence into a question? The order of subject and verb is reversed in interrogative sentences. Put a question mark at the end. Don't forget to add a question mark at the end of a question. 의문문 만드는 연습 Please make a yes-no question. Please form a WH question. Please turn this sentence into a question. Make this into a tag question. Change each sentence into a question. Make yes-no questions or WH questions from each sentence. How do you answer these questions? Please write down an answer to this question. Write both positive and negative answers. Look at the order of the subjects and verbs in these questions. You need to change the order of the subjects and verbs. 오. 시제 일치. The tenses are incorrect in these sentences. Please correct them. Paul, would you like to correct the first sentence? We have to change this go here into went. Excellent. The writer is talking about the past, something he did yesterday. So we have to change the present tense go into the past tense went. 시제. Tense tells us about time. How many tenses do you think there are in English? Let me explain the tense with these arrows here. Let me use this timeline to explain the tense. Look at the tense table and try to memorize it. The past tense tells us what has happened. The future tense tells us what will happen. The present tense indicates that something is happening now. The continuous tense takes the form of be plus verb ing. Be careful of the tense agreement. Choose the right tense to fit in the blank. Which tense should I use? 
When did this event happen? Between these two sentences, which took place first? Could you use the future tense here? You've got the wrong tense here. You have to use the past tense here. The tenses don't agree. Write the past tense of the given verbs. 주어 동사의 일치 There are three grammatical persons in the English language. The first person is I. And the second person is you. Everything other than I and you is the third person. He, she, it, and they are in the third person. Can you see how the verb has changed here? The verb must agree with its subject in person and number. Be careful of subject-verb agreement. Always be careful with the third person singular subjects. Don't forget the verb agreement when it's a third person singular subject. If the subject is a third person singular, you have to add an S to the verb. You should have added an S here. If the verb ends with a vowel, you have to add ES. Look at the subject. Is it a singular or a plural? What is the right form of the verb in question 3?